Now, you're strongly of the belief that austerity measures being introduced in economies like the UK, Ireland, and across Europe are the wrong thing to do. I'm just wondering how damaging the myth is that the austerity is going to take us out of this reception. Oh, recession. extraordinarily damaging. Uh, the uh, evidence is overwhelming that this is going to deepen the downturn uh, and uh, unemployment will be higher, the economy weaker, the benefits in terms of revenues will be disappointing because as the economy gets weaker, tax revenues go down, unemployment insurance goes up. Now, in the case of some small countries, they had no choice. Uh, Which countries are you thinking of? Greece, for instance. Uh, it, 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 it had no access to financial markets. One way or the other, it it, it would have to adjust its budget. And Ireland, presumably? Ireland is in the same kind mm -hmm. of position, except both Greece and Ireland and Portugal and could have been helped by Europe. Right. So on their own, they had no choice. So this is where the mistake was. It wasn't uh, the mistake of these countries individually. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the Troika's mistake in saying, these, uh, the condition of getting assistance from us is that you have to cut back, you have to undertake the this extreme, the conditionality. Crippling, crippling and, in some cases, and yeah. ex, you know, I saw similar kinds of conditionality in, in East Asia, the IMF imposed in East this Asia. Is it, you've seen it all before and I've, you know it doesn't work. And we know it doesn't work and uh, we saw it in Latin America. So to me it's, it's, it's astounding that this experiment <laughs> It's being tried again.